Today, the web is really the killer app for the internet. But in the past, it wasn't always true. When the internet was young, there were a variety of different tools and different protocols that people were using to explore the web in a way that is very similar to what we do online today using our web browser. Uh, but the web browser is, has really just become this, uh, this winner, right? The web is one. Uh, lots of you know, other types of tools are now using web protocols. Apps that run on your phone use web protocols to communicate with servers. So, so the web has been this huge success story. Um, and part of that success story was an early web browser that was called Mosaic. So Mosaic was uh, developed by Mark Anderson along uh, with and who the person who went on to do Netscape. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about what Mosaic is and, and why it helped the web win, uh, sort of win the internet. So let me give you a look at the early web. So this is what the web looked like. And to some degree, you know, Tim Berners-Lee's early vision of the web kind of, you know, th this is how people were experiencing it. So uh, now, now this is interesting, right? So this is a web browser, it's called Lynx. It's a text-based web browser. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Um, you can, and you can see that this is, you know, and, and just for, I can actually uh, navigate this site to some degree. Uh, I can go to the different parts of it. I can look at the papers my group has written. I can look at projects that we're working on. I can scroll around and stuff like that. And, and there are links on this and, and links will follow them. Um, so this is a text-based web browser, and I can use it to browse the web. And if you're stuck somewhere where you only have a terminal and, and you're really desperate to find out what's going on online, uh, try Lynx, L-Y-N-X. It's sort of a modern text-based web browser. Um, but, but this was sort of the early web. And to some degree, this was, if you compare this with things like Gopher, this was nece wasn't necessarily that much better from a user interface perspective. You did have this comp concept for hyperlinks, which are pretty exciting, um, but from a from from a user interface perspective, you know, this is text, there's no pictures, uh, you know, it's hard to click on stuff. Um, and so let's go into the future and look at the same page and here's what it looks like. And of course, this is what you guys are used to. This is what everyone's used to today. We're used to these graphical web browsers. And Mosaic was the first graphical web browser. Um, it was the first browser that brought images uh, into play. And of course, people love pictures. Think about all the explosion of photography online right now. I mean, humans are visual, you know, visual creatures. We like pictures. Um, this also brought into play all sorts of really exciting and different ways of formatting pages, laying out content. And you know, again, if you compare uh, this uh, page, let me try to go back to the, to the index. So here's, the, here's my group's homepage rendered on links in a text-based format, and here's the page in a browser. You know, and I think you know, we, we all be uh, pretty certain about which one of these we would choose. And so the Mosaic web browser uh, really helped spark the, it was first one of the, one of the first graphical web browsers, one of the first that sort of saw wide adoption, and really helped push the early World Wide Web forward and kind of led to the explosion of the web. Um, in fact, there's, the, there's a great quote about this, which uh, let me see if I can look up quickly. Um, Yeah, so, so Bob Metcalf, uh, one of the developers of Ethernet and, and a sort of early internet architect described the situation this way. He said, in the web's first generation, Tim Berners-Lee launched the Uniform Resource Locator, URL, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, HTTP and HTML standards. That's That was the early web. With a prototype Unix-based servers and browsers, a few people noticed that the web might be better than Gopher. In the second generation, Mark Anderson and Eric Bina developed NCSA Mosaic at the University of Illinois. Several million people then suddenly noticed that the web might be better than sex. So this is something that really you know, caused the web to take off. And I think when you, when you look at the difference, yes, this might be better than Gopher. I don't think this page is better than sex, but that's sort of a peak.